I gotta pinch myself all the time. I look at all the places that I've been able to go, all the places that I've been able to fish, and there's been so many places that were just over the top special. And you know, being a father, you know, there's places where when my kids were really little, that man, I can't wait till my kids get a little older where I can't wait to bring my kids to some of these places and experience some of these things with them. And so we're back up at Bud's Gun Sale and we were back here, I don't know, four years ago, five years ago, it was before, before the COVID pandemic. And it was just one of those over the top experiences where I thought, man, this is one of the, this is one of the best fishing camps I've ever seen. And now, not just the quality of fish, I mean, huge numbers of big walleyes, obviously you catch, you know, plenty of walleyes if you want to eat fish for shore lunch, but just the camp, I mean, everything, everything about it was kicked up a notch. The food, the staff, I mean, it was just, you know, really knowledgeable guides, really one of the premier places that I've ever seen. And so this is an extra special episode this week because I get to bring my oldest son, Brennan, up to experience some of this. And so he's up here for the first time. And this is one of these trips I've been looking forward to all year. But I've been talking about this place for a long time now. It's finally good to be able to get up and get to go to this. Right now I'm finding fish in about 20 to 20 to 30 to 35 feet of water. Um, structure, I'm looking for rock breaks, sand to rock transitions, anything that holding a ledge. Fish are on that ledge right now. We've had a bad cold front come through. The water temp was actually 70 degrees about a week ago and now we're dropped down to 60s. There I got him. Wow. Feels like a better one. Here, I'll just grab it out of the net. That's a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Even got my shiner back. That's what I remembered about this place is how hard these fish fight. <laughs> when I found out I had the opportunity to come up to Bud's Gonna Sail Like Lodge and work as a fishing guide, I was all over that. I didn't hesitate for one moment to send Destiny an email and the rest is history from there. And the second that I got here, my first day on this lake, I fell in love with it, you know. You can go anywhere, and fish walleyes, doesn't matter where you're at, but the size of these walleyes, then it's just truly unbelievable. Like we got fish from 18 inches all the way up to 31, 32 inches are caught every year at this lake. And you're not just catching five or six walleyes before lunch. You're having 50, 60, 100 fish days. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, I remembered how hard these fish fought. And I just remembered catching so many fish on a jig. It just doesn't get any better. This massive head shakes. The small fish fight hard, the big fish fight hard. Look at that. Hardly get your rod tip out of the water. Oh yeah. Wow. Fish on. <laughs> you got one too, Brennan? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta speak up. Here, oh. here, let's handle this one here first. This is a nice fish. Not hooked very good, but it came in. All right. Look at that. Here, go ahead and just leave her in the water there. Boy, look at how beautiful these fish are. Just the golden color. This is a special, special deal. Look at that. That barbless hook just pops right out. Look at that. Huh. That's a nice walleye. You got one too, Brennan? Yep. <laughs> nice job. All right, I'll get her in the water. There she goes.
In the springtime, we're fishing a lot of in uh, shallower water over in the walleye hole, and we follow these walleyes as they migrate into the main lake, and then, then we're fishing vertical jigging for them. Uh, we're fishing anywhere 10, 15, 20, up to 30 to 35 feet of water for these fish. Uh, we're fishing islands, points, wind-blown reefs, uh, sand to rock transitions, you know. And the really nice thing I like about Gunnaseo Lake, it's got 76 islands. So it doesn't matter, like, the wind kicks up out of a certain direction. You always got somewhere where you can go hide and fish and catch walleyes. Fish on, Jason. Nice hook set, buddy. Wow. You just feel that model stretching. Wow, is that fish fighting hard. Goodness, I'm a back reel. It's been a long time since I've back reeled on a walleye. Look at that. That fish just looks old, don't it? <laughs> I can't wait to show this fish off. This fish just looks ancient. Look at that. Look at that old, look, I mean, just look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I tell you what, I mean, last time we were up here, I met some guys from Fargo, you know, and they've been coming up here for years. And, you know, they were talking about how they come up here for a week and you catch more big walleyes in a week up here than what you do an entire season on a lot of great fisheries. You know, this is just structure fishing 101 in the sense these spots are small. You see all these islands and little points and these little rock fingers coming off. And I mean, the spots are small. And so you know, these guides will set you up on these spots. It's easy fishing because you just hop in the boat. You don't have to run the boat at all. These guides are excellent up here. But, you know, you're just fishing straight up and down. We tried plastics a little bit, didn't catch as much. And so it's just a jig and a shiner bite, you know, frozen shiner, just right up and down, straight up and down below the boat on this structure. And so you want to use a long shank hook just a you know double hook that frozen shiner and since you're fishing vertical it helps as well just add a small swivel you know two or three feet up the line that way it takes out some of the line twists and so you know just you know lots of quarter ounce jigs you know, just a sort of got a tungsten jig here we've got deep v jigs this jig this deep v jig with the with the blade on it my son caught a bunch of fish on that but you're just long shanks so that way you can pin up that shiner and just straight up and down below the boat, but it is fun fishing. There you go, Brennan. Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Oh, don't come, come down on it so hard. Yeah, move that rod slow and keep that rod bent. When you come down, you keep the rod bent at the same pressure. Oh, Brandon, that's a good fish. There we go. Wow. What do you think of that? There you go, yeah. <laughs> well, claim your prize. <laughs> There's a lot of big walleyes here. They fought really hard reeling them in. It was just a great time. It was fish after fish. There wasn't like a lazy moment during the day, and it was it was really fun, yeah. It was a op great opportunity coming up here, and it was just incredible. So back in 1987, my uh, dad and my uncle came to Gunnaseo Lake and spent a month and a half up here in uh, September and October. And they loved the lake so much and fished it, they actually put an offer down on it that November and purchased the lodge. And uh, in 1988 was their first season running it. And I was only 11 years old at the time. So I got to spend a few weeks up here every summer. I actually was lucky enough to guide up here over the years. Uh, during college, so I, I did that. And then um, after college, I, I came up to the lodge and uh, I started managing the place. After about 10 years of managing the place with Jenny, um, we ended up buying it ourselves. And so it's been in our family for 36 years now. 
So my first summer up at Ganeseo was in 2002. I took a job as a server and housekeeper um, at the lodge. And I met Dusty after I was hired because I was actually hired by the chef that year. Dusty and I were dating, I think within two weeks of our season and kind of the rest is history there. I moved into a management role with the lodge in 2004. We were married in 2005 started adding our kids to the Gunaseo family in 2008 and 2010. And in 2013, we moved from being the managers of the lodge to the owners of the lodge. And this fall, we'll actually celebrate 10 years of owning Gunaseo. <laughs> wow. This is a good fish. I can hardly budget. I love it when that rod makes a whistling noise and the rod's bent over. Six pound test, you gotta kinda go easy on them. Come on, I just wanna see it. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey, <laughs> look at that fish. Wow, here, I'll get her out of the net here. That is a walleye. Wow. Look at and just how golden they are. Wow. That is a walleye, huh? My goodness. Look at just that, just that forehead and that hump above the gills. That is a serious looking fish. Look how fat the lips are. Big old teeth. What an impressive fish. Okay. All right. We'll get this big mama back in the water. Whoa. <laughs> Gotta love this place, huh? <laughs> wow. Travel Manitoba has a really nice process of measuring and qualifying master angler type fish in Manitoba. That includes every species of fish and they've been doing it over 75 years. So the records go back that far. And we're lucky enough to catch some of the biggest walleye in Manitoba every year at 28 inches plus. Um, over the past 10 years, we've had 66% of the registered master anglers caught in Manitoba during the summer, um, which is, I mean, two thirds of all the master angler walleyes being caught are right from our lake. And we do a really nice job to try to promote it. Um, we even have our own Bud's Master Angler Club. And uh, if you get a master angler at our lodge, we actually sign you up for a free trip back to Bud's. Uh, we do a drawing every year for that. So it's a really unique process that we do in Manitoba and, and especially at our lodge. You got a good fish on here. I'll get the net here for you. Here. It's a big one. Good one. All right. Oh yeah, nice fish. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Back up if you can. There you go. Okay. That's good fish. Keep her bent. Keep it bent. There you go. You're doing good. Oh wow, Brennan. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, Brennan. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you think of that there, that's Knuckles? A, that's a good one. That's a good, that's a great fish. <laughs> wow. Awesome. 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 There you go. Hoo hoo, yeah. Great fish, Brennan. That's a that's a beautiful walleye. Nice job. Nice job. What do you think of this place? Oh, this place is cool. Nice work. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. How does he feel? Good. I got one too. <laughs> I don't know how many times this has happened today. 
<laughs> That's what you call Canadian golden walleyes. You know, you look at the number of big fish that are caught, you know, obviously you look at Manitoba and you look at big walleyes in particular, you know, Lake Winnipeg gets a lot of attention, you know, especially in the winter time. But when you look at the sheer number of big walleyes that are caught out of this one lake, one camp, throughout the summer or open water period, it's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how a camp with 20, 25 anglers can catch this many big walleyes out of one lake. And granted, this is a pretty good sized lake, but it's, it's tremendous. And so the reality is that you could come up here and realistically in, in say four to seven days of fishing, you could probably handle more fish over 27 inches up to 32 inches than what you'd see maybe an entire season, maybe an entire decade on most places that you'd consider great fisheries. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, I'll get the net here for you. It's like a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a nice fish, Brennan. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go, all right, nice work. Nice job, bud. What do you think of this? Yeah, this is cool, yeah. <laughs> so glad I was able to bring you up here, man. This is one of those places I just been waiting, waiting to take my kids here. Nice job. We have all three, four, and seven day trips. So all of our trips are gonna start on a Tuesday morning or Friday morning. Um, our guests get to Winnipeg the evening before overnight. Um, that way they can get on a charter flight about six in the morning up to the lodge at 7.30 in the morning and having breakfast. Um, and as soon as you can get your things ready, you can get out there fishing usually about eight, 8.30 in the morning. That's really nice that you can spend a four day trip is actually four full days of fishing. A three day trip is the same and it's uh, really nice for our guests to be able to do that. And then once they get up here, um, you know, you have shore lunch every day on the lake, which is really unique to this part of uh, Manitoba. And you can then come back, have some hors d'oeuvres in your cabins, have a nice three course evening meal. And then the very next morning you wake up to coffee being served at your cabin, come over to the lodge, have a, a made to order breakfast. And then, uh, you know, you hop in the boat, the boat's all ready for you to go with your guide and uh, you're fishing out there until, again, you have shore lunch and then back in the evenings. Um, so you really get a lot of fishing in, on the lake. There you go, Brennan. Keep your rod up. Keep your rod in one spot. There you go. Keep cranking. There you go. Looking good. I'll get the net here for you. That's a good fish, Brennan. I'll get the net here. I'm gonna get reeled up and out of your way. That's a good fish. All right, how's it feel? Good. Oh yeah, Brandon, nice one. Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. What do you think of that, Oof, huh? Yeah. That's a good fish. Are you getting hungry yet? A little bit, yeah. You know, a long time from now, I'm gonna look back at all these times that I'm going up here with Jason, my dad here, and it's gonna think about all the good times we have, all the big fish we caught, all the, everything that we got to do and all the trips that we got to do. And this is probably one of the trips I'm gonna remember the most. It's just one of the best experiences I've got up here. It's just a great place to come up and it's just an awesome opportunity here that it was really cool. You know, people talk a lot about bucket list and you know, just the logistics of getting to Winnipeg and then flying in here. You know, this might not be something that somebody does every year, but if you ever get a chance just to come up here just once in your life, this is as good as it gets. I mean, we've been all over the place. We've seen some of the best of the best fishing around, and I've never seen a place that's better than this. <laughs> I mean, it's just in incredible how many fish you can catch, the size of the fish. I mean, everything is just up a notch here. And uh, it's definitely one of the, you know, one of the premier walleye fishing camps that I've ever seen in my life of all the places that we've been to.